In this lesson, we will be learning about the project structure of our iPhone application. This is our Hello World project, which is selected and we'll click open. Remember, I have opened the Xcode. So this is our project and at the left side, you'll see the file structure of our project. Let me make it a little bit bigger. If you are running on any other version of Xcode, this structure may differ for you. Here, you will find the hello world appdelegate.h which is a header file for our application delegate. Next is hello world appdelegate.m and this is the actual Objective C file for our application delegate. This is our main window dot xib. Remember, this xib is an interface file which default opens in interface builder. Then comes the hello world view controller dot h, which is the view controller header for our hello world application, and then the most important two file comes along which is hello world view controller dot m now this is the objective c file for our hello world view controller and next is hello world view controller dot xib which is the interface builder file this file we have seen in our previous tutorials as well after that there are some supporting files like main.m, hello world prefix.pch, and etc. Then the hello world test folder. This is the testing files that is very important when you are testing your applications with Xcode. Next is the framework, and all the toolkits and framework is located over here. You can manipulate here if you want to and you can have a look at them. There is a list of files that are used to build these framework. And the last is the product which is the final build. So this is the complete overview of our Hello World project. Here you will find the summary of our application the information about this project, build versions, etc. We can set every parameter over here if we want to. The build settings, build phases, if there is a multi-phase application, and some ground rules for building. So this was our Hello World project, which runs on iOS development target or deployment target 4.3 if you go there you'll find several deployment targets but we will make it 4.3 so that we know that it is the latest target debug and release configurations as well so this was the tutorial upon the project structure in Xcode thank you